All right, so I'm going to be upgrading this Dell uh, Optiplex 3020 right here, Optiplex 3020, to an SSD. So I cloned the hard drive already. Um, we're going to now be replacing it. So on the back here, there's two screws. You can use a PH2 or JS2 screwdriver to remove this, or possibly even larger. Um, once you twist it a little, you can actually use your fingers to unscrew it. And then after you've unscrewed that, there's a little handle here. So we're going to grab that and then we just pull it back just like that. Then we can lift this out. Usually these types of dolls um, have a pretty nice, excuse me, toolless way to open this up. So let's see. So usually this, I think we lift this blue tab up. And yep, we can slide this back. Um, if you want, you can disconnect these cables first. So this is the power and this is the data cable. So it's kind of hard to get in there, so I'm going to see if I can slide it back and move this out first. Okay, and as you can see, once we slide it back enough, we can actually lift this out. Then I can grab the top and bottom of the connectors and then kind of use that to wiggle and pull it out. Okay, i got to be careful because I don't want to smash this into the fan. So there we go, and there we go. Okay, so there's the optical disk drive. If you wanted to replace it, you can. It looks like you just, yeah, you just pop it out by kind of pulling this to the side and it comes out. So you'd have to pull this side out. This side looks like it has a larger plastic thing that will hold it in place. But yeah, you can see you can kind of move that out of the way and then pop that out. Okay, and I guess you have to also pull the back out. Anyways, we're gonna leave this aside. We're just doing the SSD, but here you can also see the RAM here. The RAM is also pretty easy to remove. There's these two tabs. You just pull them aside. It pops out. Then you can lift it out, and you can see the RAM is <clears throat> PC3-12800U. So if you wanted to upgrade it, get PC3-12800U. Um, you can get probably two 8-gig sticks. I don't know if they make 16-gig sticks of this type of RAM. If they do, you could probably upgrade to that as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, you you want matching sticks because having mismatched sticks can sometimes cause problems. All right. Anyways, we're going to clip this in. You can use mismatched sticks, but it might not run as well. And also, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it can cause problems. All right. They have instructions how to remove this thing. But I'm not going to remove that because the customer just needs the hard drive thing done. And I don't want to mess around and then risk damaging things because this computer is very important. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to pull the blue data cable for the hard drive out. So kind of grab that and pull that out. And then also the SATA data cable here. All right, just grab that and pull that out. Okay, hard drive. Now we have this little blue thing here. We're going to slide that to unlock it. And then I think we should be able to, yep, we can lift it out. It swings along here. Be careful because it hits this thing in the front. I might have to actually take that out first. So let's go ahead and take the front thing out. There's a USB here, so we're going to take this out. Okay, so there's three plastic tabs here that we have to uh, remove. So just lift this up slightly and then push it forward for all three. Okay, just like that, and there we go, it swings off. Okay, now we can lift this up without worrying, and we have access to the hard drive here. Hard drive comes out by squeezing these two blue tabs, and then we should be able to, yep, we can slide it out. Um, only thing is, they don't have a bracket for the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD that we're putting in here, and I don't think there's, yeah, there's not really any room to keep both. So we're going to take this hard drive out, okay? So to get this out, I think we just pull these, yep, pull this to the side, just like this. And then you can swing it over just like the CD drive, okay? So once we get that swung over, we can grab this and kind of just wiggle it to pull it out. And there we go. There's a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Again, we are going to be replacing it with a 2.5 inch uh, SATA, um, SATA drive here. Okay, so we're going to slide this back in. Am I doing it upside down? Okay, there we go. Slides back in and clicks into place. Okay, and you can see we can't fit the hard drive in like that. So we are going to have to um, pull this back out. Okay, and then we'll put this in here. All right, slot it in. And we're going to have to hold this in place while we plug the connectors in. Okay, so we have the blue data cable here that we're just gonna reconnect sorry i know it's hard to see it's hard to kind of record this kind of thing 
but just get it lined up and click it into place. All right, there we go. Then we'll get the power cable and same thing. Hold the hard drive in place or the SSD and then we're gonna have to get that in. But uh, I guess we have to slot this in first. So get this piece back here, um, back into its place. Actually, then I need to take this out, don't I? Okay, I guess I can slide this enough that I can reach it. Okay, so we're gonna get this back into place. Let's see, how did I, nope, I guess I have to take this out. Okay, so we're gonna take the connection out and we have to hold the SSD or hard drive in place. Get that lined up right, okay? If you want to see, it goes in there, and then it has these little tabs. So this comes out like that, okay? Goes back over on top and swings down, okay? Just like that. Again, we got to pull the hard drive stuff out of the way. This has to slide all the way in, otherwise it hits the fan here. So make sure that's in all the way. Get that slotted back in, and then we'll click this in. Let me see if there's anything under here to show you guys. Um, you can see the BIOS CMOS RTC real-time clock battery there. There's a bunch of little connections there This is for like the front panel for the buttons and everything. Oh my other customers here We got the power connector here and other stuff But again this video I'm kind of trying to do it quick and just for the hard drive So let me get this in I'm gonna pause the video real quick so I can go talk with my other customer and I'll be back All right, I'll see you guys in a bit all right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead now and reconnect the hard drive. So we did put this in. You can pull this blue latch back to lock it in. And now the hard part is trying to get this connected while it's weird like this. Okay. So you can see we can actually have it slotting out slightly. It makes it easier. Okay. Then we'll get this other cable. I guess I'll tuck this underneath to make it a little bit easier. And get that in, click that into place, good. Get the small cable, get this one out. Okay, we're gonna now get this um, front bracket back. So this, you wanna hook these sides down at the bottom first. So we're gonna lift this, okay, hook that in. Once you get that, just swing it over and it should click into place, make sure everything's lined up, okay. And click it all in. Looks good. You can go ahead and put this USB back in. Am I putting it upside down? There we go. Okay. Just like that. Make sure everything is nice and locked in. Okay. We'll get the CD drive. Slot it back. Slide it down. Okay. And then push it back in. It should lock in. There we go. Double check it by trying to pull on it. It should stay in. And let's go ahead now and plug this stuff back in. So we've got the data cable again there and the power connection there. All right, pretty straightforward. Now we can go ahead and get this, slide it back on and screw that back into place. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.